Three minute zero game. Let's lock myself in. Small bishop attack. Nice development of the king castling. Develop the bishop. Got to be careful with this move here because we are now blocking our bishop in. So he's probably looking to take advantage. And we can push onto his knight or we can capture. If we capture, it's opening up his queen, it's opening up his bishop on that file. Let's just push onto the knight. Not take so long over the moves. Okay, and let's just push here, block the center off. We don't like playing like this because it doesn't last very long. Head of the snake disappears. I'm going to try and take their head of the snake before they take ours. Simple. So maybe the knight, because the knight may be a bit more functional in this area. So now I'm in overthinking mode um, because this is not a position that I like because the center's blocked in. Like I said, attacking the head of the snake, it doesn't last very long. Maybe we can leave it there or maybe they're just looking to come past. I think they're just looking to come past because it is the king area. So I'm going to see what they want to do. Let's go. I think they're just going to push past. Oh, they're not. So we're going to actually capture opening up the space oh it's not so we're going to capture again because we like opening up the space and then we're going to attack i'm sorry the system's going slow i've got something saving in the background so it might be to my detriment um so what we're on now what do we have we have a little bit of movement on this pawn here if we can get away with it that would be quite nice our time is running down big style now so we need to move a bit quick and the queen has come down to save the day damn gonna go for oh too fast rooks taking too fast but has that given me something just bring the knight here it's gonna take the pawn and it's all gone a little bit shabby from that movement i was moving too fast monologuing Okay, that's nice for us. Let's go and attack the queen. Gives us space. And let's just bring the bishop here. So he'll be looking to take this pawn, this pawn. While we're trying to get around onto this pawn here at some point. Yeah, it's going to, it was always going to be taking that. But it's only the rook that's there. So I'm not going to lose too much sleep over that. And just bring the king across. It looks like he's coming in for the kill now okay so let's just bring the knight across he's trying not to move from this spot but the queen is the one that's going to be causing the devastation so he's looking for some blocker so i'm going to attack the rook at them in the meantime and we do have space to come here and get both of them off the board so let's do that well one of them off the board take the queen rather than Time's running down with the check on the king. King moves to the side to save the bishop. Running down on time. A one one eleven there, one twenty. And they're probably overthinking now because they had a winning position, but somehow it seems to have gone awry. So they might not make another move, but the king can just defend the bishop here. They're still in the game. I still have to do moves. Got this little pawn here if I want to take that, but my king seems a bit safe. It's, you know, he's got the dark square bishop, he's got his knight. That was another scrappy game, again, but based on what we've been practicing, which is the answer process, um, we seem to be gathering a position of sorts to be able to fight back at least and try and get an equalization or a capitulation.